Iliad launched its mobile offer in the low-priced Italian market late last month. The entrance had been much anticipated, and we've received numerous inquiries on how the offer stacks up against expectations and what its impact will be on the market. Our recently published commentary, Iliad's Odyssey into the Italian telecom market, may bring gloom but not doom, details our first take on the situation. And joining me today to discuss it is Mark Habib, our telecom sector lead in Europe. Hello, Mark. Hi, Osnat. Thanks for joining us. Um, now that Iliad has finally entered the market, how disruptive do you think their offer actually is? Well, at $599, it certainly is a, a low-priced offer. Uh, at the same time, it's important to remember that the Italian market is already very low-priced. It's uh, not like France was in 2012 when Iliad entered there and was able to undercut the market by 20, 25 euro. Uh, by contrast, there are already offers in the market in, in Italy by some of Iliad's discount competition already at similar price points. So to the extent there are value conscious consumers looking at Iliad, they might already be happy with the price point that they're at. On the other hand, the more compelling part of the offer is the data allowance at 30 gigabytes, uh, well beyond what's currently on offer from the name brands that Iliad is competing with. But there again, we see some uh, potential reasons why they might not get as much pickup as might initially be thought. And that's because to the extent that there are or data hungry customers eyeing that offer, they might also be tech savvy customers that can see uh, that Iliad will be roaming on the wind tray network, which is currently the weakest of the three operators in Italy. So we think that there could certainly be some competition, but we're not expecting there to be a price war. I see. I mean, it looks like some of the peers have started to react. Do you think it could escalate further? Well, that's the main point of, of concern for us from a credit perspective and we'll be monitoring it very closely over the next few months to see how the competitors react. To the extent that there is a price war that breaks out, it should be quite visible in terms of seeing uh, price cuts, headline price cuts occurring across all the brands. Currently, and it's still early, what we are seeing uh, shaping up is positioning and competition occurring through the discount brands of Vodafone and Telecom Italia. And we think that should insulate the, the majority of the base from price erosion. What we hope or what we think may occur is that those competitors will try to maintain pricing and accept some level of customer losses. That will be more difficult to see though as that's a competition that occurs a bit more under the surface and we'll need to wait until Q3 results are released to get a better indication of how that's shaping up. Thanks Mark. And maybe finally, what are the impacts for the existing players? Well. We think that there will be price pressure and certainly there will be customer losses because we, we think that Iliad should be able to reach its target of a million customers fairly quickly this year. Uh, on the other hand, we see mitigants and that's part of why we still expect a deterioration of only 2-3% to 3 overall for the Italian market. With Vodafone and Iliad, we see some protection given that they occupy the more premium end of the segment and won't be going as much head-to-head -head with Iliad for value customers. And to the extent that they do have some exposure, they have launched discount brands that should help shore up their customer base. With wind, they are going more directly into competition for value customers, and we think we will see elevated churn rates there. On the other hand, they're not truly losing those customers because Iliad will be roaming on the wind trade network. So to the extent wind loses a customer on a direct basis, they'll be gaining them back on a wholesale basis. And to the extent that Iliad picks up customers from uh, TI and from Vodafone, those will be incremental wholesale customers to wind. So at the end of the day, uh, we expect pressure in the market, and that's the cause for some gloom. But with these mitigants, uh, we are not expecting doom. Thank you, Mark, and thank you to our viewers for joining us today. For more information, you can visit spratings.com.